everyone, it's Stella here and welcome into another episode of the Stella Survival Series. And today we're starting ourselves off at the volcano here, uh, where we have kind of, I may have shown this off in a previous episode at some point, um, but it has been a very long time since I have uploaded a video onto the YouTube, so I do apologize for that guys. But we are back up here doing some videos now. Well, welcome in. This is where we are going to be starting off today's episode. We are here at the volcano where... We have got our super smelter laying in the depths below of this big old volcano. But I actually am not going to be really focusing on the volcano today. We are actually going to be focusing on building ourselves a dam down at the bottom of this area. And that is what we're going to be working on as we kind of work our way down through to here. So there's a slime farm here. I don't believe I've showed this off yet either. There is a lot of... Uh, things that have happened in between the last episode and this episode as well as bits and pieces unfortunately this world is going to be a little bit more chaotic than i would have hoped um, for a let's play series but that is kind of how things run sometimes don't we all get that um so we have the slime farm just below here i'll show you that in just a second but what the plan is is we're going to have this big dam that holds a lot of water and it flows down into this valley and then comes out via this section here we can hopefully have a water wheel here eventually. Um, that'll probably be built in the next episode because let's be honest, I don't have the ability to do, to do like six major projects in one hit. It's, it's not going to happen, all right? <laughs> so we're going to do that today. Um, but first and foremost, we have got a whole heap of tools that need bending first. So we're going to go do that. We're going to do a quick bending session over the Enderman farm and then we're going to get ourselves some materials and then come back right over here where we can start deforesting this area and also get ourselves the start of the dam wall in and get a perimeter going for this. All right, so we've gone ahead and we have healed all of our tools. We've gone and pick, got all of our pickaxes, all of our shovels, and then all of our others. Uh, we've also gone ahead and named all of these because we've only got one fortune hoe. The rest are all silk touch hoes, but it's very confusing trying to figure out which one it is. And I've also, whilst I'm here, decided to fix up our bows because one of the things that happens every time I die is I lose my bow. No matter if I don't lose anything else, it's always my bow. So I've gone ahead and actually created a couple more bows so we don't have to worry about that for the next at least three times that we lose our gear. So we're going to just chuck our extra bows here into our extra tools box. Now there it does need to be a few more enchants on these. Um, we need Unbreaking 3 which is over at the villages um, and then this one needs Unbreaking 3 and Punch 2 on it as well. So we still need a few more enchants on here but that's fine. We have got the majority of them. We have healed up all of our tools and we are just going to put these here. Now something that I did actually do a while back and I thought it was incredibly intelligent for Stella anyway, let's be honest, is instead of using my netherite sword because, you know, I'm always being a doofus, is I instead use a iron sword. It doesn't matter if it's got mending on it. It's got the same durability anyway. And then we just bappity bap bap bap, kill the ender boys. So we need to pop that back there. That is our enderman killing sword right there. And then we do need to clean out all of these ender pearls. We need to do the good old cleanup before we head out. We throw these in the automatic garbage chute right there. And we're good to go. Let's get on with the start of today's project. So here we are. We have added our very first like kind of boundary line that comes around the bottom of the volcano. And this is where we're going to add our first level of our dam. So this is where the water, main water capacity is going to be sitting. And then we're going to have a little bit of a sheer drop. It's going to sit about 15, 20 blocks up about here. And then we're going to have like this sheer drop where the water kind of cascades and falls down the bottom here. Where this other line is down here, this is where we're going to be adding in a bit of, again, a bit of a boundary wall. Uh, I kind of wanted it to flow maybe two or three different times down into this little lake down the bottom. We are going to have to do some terraforming. We're going to have to take out this section over here, which is going to be a little bit of a pain, but that's all right. Who doesn't like a project with some terraforming? But with that, let's actually start placing some blocks. Well, actually, no. First, rewind. Hold a sec. We actually need to take out the trees first. So we need to go get ourselves an axe and we're going to need to take out some trees. We may also have to uh, get rid of a few little friends that are sitting here. Otherwise, we're going to have a lot of animals that are going to be floating up in our water. So we're going to do that first and we'll continue on 
Um, I might do a bit of a time lapse of putting down the boundary wall and then we'll do some, come back in when the decorating has been done. I might go into a bit of a time lapse um, putting up the boundary wall and then when it is done, we'll do some decorating on camera just so that it saves us a little bit of time. I'll be there, guys. I'll see you in a little bit. And well, here we go. We've got the side of the dam put in. The main dam, dam wall is now put in. I'm really excited for how this actually looks in contrast to the rest of the volcano. We are going to be putting in some really nice big spruce trees and some custom things along here. But the next section is actually adding in the first of the spillways. So I believe, kind of from looking at this, I haven't done any of this in creative, by the way, guys. This is all purely in survival. Um, that we're going to be placing in... I can land a spillway right about here. I'm really happy with like the way that this looks in comparison to the rest of the area. So we're going to want to put the spillway kind of coming out of this direction, kind of on a 90 degree angle to this. So we are going to be working uh, not on just straight lines, but on diagonals as well at this point. The other section is we're going to have to build up this wall here before it actually hits this lake. So we have to go ahead and do that as well right about now so we're going to go back into a quick time lapse and do that all righty guys so we, hey, we have gone ahead and we have now made two two giant gray blobs we don't need to talk about it all right it's, it's fine it, it's, it's coming together it, it's it's fine it didn't take me like three hours to do this the, okay there's a lot of blocks in there okay can we can we just just you just didn't we just it, it's you guys, it's in its ugly duckling stage. It, it's going to be fine. All right, so in really, really, we actually did go ahead and grab this. Um, we've got these three lines coming in with the bricks. Uh, and then this section in here is actually where the water is going to be. So, all right, so after about three hours, yeah, yeah about three hours, it, it really did take that long. Um, we've got these two sections in. So... For what I'm imagining, we're going to be having uh, the water kind of sitting in behind this dam over here from the volcano. So this volcano is only recently erupted in my head. Uh, when I kind of looked at the lore of this, I kind of feel like this is, yeah, it's just kind of happened. It's not really happened very long ago. Uh, you can see that the lava is still flowing down. So this would have originally been a water space where, you know, rain would have happened and then it would have traveled down the volcano what was a mountain, now is a volcano, uh, down into this little dam and then spills over down into this section uh, and then spills over again. At the moment, you guys are going to have to just use your imagination because we're not there yet. Uh, but using our slime uh, AFK area, we are going to actually fly back over here and start showing you guys what we're going to be doing. So we haven't added in the terraforming down the bottom here yet. Uh, that'll come as we kind of work on this area. Uh, but the first bit is this, this area. So what I have kind of envisioned for this is these big kind of gates. And that is where the water is kind of flowing through. So this section here and kind of running off down. So we actually have to put in these gates. I also am kind of considering uh, bringing out the terraforming into this area a little bit more, adding a couple of boulders, a few more trees, maybe a custom couple of custom trees along here, uh, because that's kind of where, at least from where I am here in Australia, uh, we've got a few of these types of dam situations, and often they are kind of built into the area around it. So there's often, a, you know, this kind of uh, rock faces and dirt areas and often little swimming pools. Uh, so this is where I am kind of coming from. I don't know if that's around the world. I have only traveled really here in Australia, so I can't really tell you guys what your, what it looks like in your own country. So we do have a few things to kind of fix up. Um, things like taking out the bottom of the dirt blocks uh, and that. So we're going to keep going ahead. I want to start building in the dam and then we have to build in the structure gate. And what do you mean by structure gate, Stella? What do you mean? Well, we're going to be adding in some type of tower or bridgey type thing up the top there where they would be manually opening and closing the gates back in when this was built. Or maybe now in, you know, current times, they'd be pressing a button and the gates would over exp uh, would it lift up and then the water would flow through. So I'm going to keep going uh, and I'll get back to you after this quick little time lapse. Add next time lapse. Thanks, babe. And well, it's 
we're, we're, we're getting there. So this is the start of the dock section. I'm actually going to bring uh, a little bit of this down just a little, uh, and we're going to have a uh, area where you you know, the guys can have a look. Um, whoever's up there is going to be lowering the drawbridge. Well, we're going to want to make sure that they've got some space to look. Uh, but for the moment, that is what the top of this section is starting to look like. I'm actually really happy with that so far. So far. Uh, from a distance away, it's getting there. The other thing that I am doing whilst we are kind of waiting for this to happen is starting to get this area filled up it's taking a while the kelp is doing its thing and it's going to take quite a bit of time to fill up this whole section especially if i only have like four buckets on me which or six sorry six buckets so i am just going to be working on through with this and we'll see how far we get in today's episode this is quite possibly the only time that i have ever wanted dolphin's grace is needing to get kelp to keep going with the water I just missed it. Come on. Come on, little dolphin. Hold. Oh. Of course, just as I hit the record button, this guy decides that he is going to stop helping me. He was helping me for like a good couple of minutes. Collect all of the kelp. Oh. I need a little bit more kelp, and I thought, well, what's the easiest way is just quickly coming to this ocean, grabbing a few stacks of kelp, and then flying back. Uh, so it could keep growing whilst I'm working on the drawbridge section of this. So after Mr. Dolphin's coming in to give me a hand, and you can probably hear Skittles in the background at the moment, we have added a few more details to this gate. I'm just kind of placing blocks at the moment. I'm not really sure what type of design style I'm after. Uh, I just know that I wanted a dam here. I wasn't really sure what exactly style we're going to go for. So I, what I have gone through, I'll kind of show you now. So I wanted a bit of a darker line on the back here, uh, kind of emphasizing these long gray sections where the water is going to be spilling out. We haven't got there yet. It'll happen. And then also I wanted to emphasize the fact that this was quite a bit darker stone um, with the deep slate. Once we have the water kind of cascading over the top of that, then it'll make a lot more sense in the regards to maybe... <clears throat> Thank you, Skittles. So I wanted to add some deep slate here just to emphasize the fact that the water is flowing down. Maybe this has been uh, waterlogged for quite a long period of time and is really starting to make this uh, part of the area a little bit damp and dingy. So that is what the thoughts are so far with this. Uh, I also want to add it went ahead and added just a little bit of a space here just to break up this big wall otherwise I thought it might distract from the eye a little bit and it really does work and actually gives it quite a nice little bit of a vibe now we are <laughs> we had to go get some more we did have to go get some more kelp because this is taking way more kelp than I expected I was not expecting it to take this long to like flow water so I have to keep going back and forth and grabbing more kelp so I can add more of this so it will continue to grow and fill in this space. I always forget how rough water mechanics in Minecraft can be sometimes and I don't really feel like going all the way around the edge with a bucket with each section and then it fill up like that. This, the, I, to be fair, it might actually be quicker to do it the other way, but Lazy Stella is going to be doing it her own way and hopefully using the water mechanics in Minecraft to do the hard work for us. So I'm just going to go spam click a whole heap of more kelp uh, and then we'll see how much more of this area actually gets uh, filled in. Hopefully. St I, I'm, I'm very hopeful that this will work. Eventually. It, it just may take a while, all right? Th th this is the ugly duckling stage of this. So I've gone ahead and I have reinforced these sides of each of these little washways or waterways. So each side it kind of looks like it has got this structure holding it up. I've gone for a little bit of a random theme, but generally scaling down. I thought that that was going to be quite a bit of a 
kind of give it a bit nice touch. So we've got the water coming down, which I really, again, I really love the way that it looks, especially with the fact that it's just kind of cascading down. But now we actually need to put in the little area underneath. So we need to connect up this river and then this river to our dam, kind of like overflowing out into the ocean below. I know we have a heap of slab right here, we're gonna get to that. It, 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 it'll be fixed. It, 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 okay, it, it, it'll be fine. Don't worry, okay? I promise we'll get to this at by sometime. Sometime soon. Um, the other thing that I've gone ahead and done is finish up the water around the corner. Well, kind of. I've added some waters across here. You can kind of see where I've watered, added water sources. And then I'm just gonna let the kelp do its thing because let's be honest, uh, that's a lot of kelp. I think I had an inventory full of kelp and it still wasn't enough. So we're just gonna let it do its thing whilst we're just sitting here um, letting it grow. But it, it, it does work, it's just gonna take its little time and that's fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and maybe get some more of the train done. I don't know, we'll see how we go. Um, I wanna get some of, maybe add in a few layers down there. Um, and we also need to add in this edge. We haven't added in the edge yet. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, and we'll be right back with you guys. And well, now we have a connected river. So now all of this area comes through. Just a quick little bit of mining. I didn't want to really terraform it too much, uh, but we have got this area now kind of connecting in through down and out this way. Because actually in the next episode, we're going to be working on a little house here, uh, covering over our slime farm and also connecting in a few of the viewers of the channel. Because on the channel, we have a whole bunch of redeems. So we have a whole bunch of beautiful people who are part of the Twitch channel and actually ha are gonna have their own armor stand sitting here and eventually have a campsite and all of that. Uh, but we need to obviously make this area a little bit more, you know, sophisticated. At the moment, it's just a few little trees and that. But <laughs> that's gonna, that's, that's, that's another, fu that's future Stella's problem, all right? Future Stella, you're going to probably hate Pastella for doing this. But anyway. Just going and giving you guys another view. We're still waiting for the water to fill up behind us. It's still taking its time. But at least there is one more thing down, which is this little lake here. I do, however, need to go get more kelp. Because uh, we, we have a little bit of a water situation at the moment. Uh, where a few of the... The spaces don't really want to connect. It, it, it'll be fine. It, I, I, I just need to go. I, yeah, kill. Minecraft, can we, can we have a discussion here for a second? Usually, you know, we, we love you. We, we, we have a vibe, yeah? What is with this water mechanic at the moment? Oh my goodness, it has taken me literally forever to try and get this working. And it's still not really working. It, it's getting there, but there is like holes and I've gone around the whole edge at this point in time and it's still there is still issues with this water I have put so many stacks of kelp into this and then every time I move it they, they have this little weird glitch the water glitch there all of this area had kelp in it so I don't really understand because like there, there shouldn't be any glitch because this whole area had kelp and and now we have <sighs> But this is what I've spent in the last about hour trying to do, is fix up all of this water. But I think it's actually starting to get there. It's actually starting to look oh, quite nice. Um, we're getting almost to the end, almost. It's, it's gonna take a little bit more and probably a few more stacks of kelp. So I'm gonna go get some more kelp and continue with fixing up this dam, but it's looking good. You can kind of see what the idea was behind it. Now we do kind of need to fix up that snow though. That, that snow needs to go a little bit. But otherwise, I'm liking this. This is looking quite nice for the moment. So this took an embarrassing long time. I didn't think it was going to actually take that long to fix up all of this water. But it seems that this right here is the only bit left to be fixed up. So we're just going to do a little... Where, where can I... What is going on here? Hello? Alright, we might need to break off that. Grab ourselves 
one of these kelp, place it there. Ah, there we go. So we're just going to have to phone mill this all the way to the top. Just like so. And then I think we're going to have to do a one down in the middle here as well. We'll just pop one here and one here. It's getting a little dark down here. Thank goodness. I don't think we're going to have any trident guys come up here. Almost. We almost got that. All right. One more, I think. And this should be the last of the water fixed up. I just got you baited. All right. Let's try this again. There we go! Alrighty! <laughs> that should be the last of it all in. That, okay, that took a lot longer than I expected. I didn't think it was going to take me like f a couple of hours to get this done. Wow. I thought maybe a maximum of like, like half an hour, maybe an hour? It was like three hours later it took me to get all of this done. It is, it's such an easy mechanic. But if I was to drain this, can you imagine? Can you imagine trying to drain this? No, Minecraft wouldn't agree, would it? But we have actually finished this up now. And we're actually going to finish up with this area for today. Uh, I think we're going to leave the rest of it for the next episode. And after a ridiculously long amount of time, we have finally got this in. I know I showed this in the last clip, but the water is finally in. We have got ourselves this washway. And unfortunately, after about 25 hours, maybe 30 hours of building, I know that it doesn't look like that, but there has been a lot that has gone into this. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to wrap up the episode here. But on the upside, the next episode, we're going to be working on fixing up this walkway, uh, adding in some nice redwood trees was what I decided to go with in the end. So we're going to add some redwoods kind of behind us add in some rocks and I also kind of want to add in some redwood trees behind us uh, but using the new root blocks I want to use those to actually make it look like maybe it's been a little bit singed so that's going to be really cool um, but we'll see that in the next episode and again we're going to have a Tudor house maybe heading over in that direction if you want to subscribe to the channel, I'm going to be releasing more videos. I know I say that literally every time and I apologize, but I will be. i am got a new schedule going and I'm actually really excited to release a whole bunch of new content to you guys. Um, also, if you guys want to hit, hit up the Twitch chat, um, we do have Twitch streams five days a week. So we'd love to have you over on the channel. Uh, but with that, guys, hit that like button if you enjoyed the episode and hit the subscribe button if you want to see it in the next one. Um, but with that, guys, I'll see you later. Bye for now.